For the first time, my name is Esther of the Esther Chronicles TV. Yes, I'm a YouTuber based in Zurich, Switzerland. So, thank you to my returning subscribers. Thank you to those that will be joining the family. Thank you to those that have that joined in the family and have not welcomed you. So, take this as your official welcome. So, on this channel, we do lots of things: inspiration, motivation. Um, vlogs, reaction, but everything we do centers around God and the kingdom, becoming a better person to the glory of God. So today, I stopped by to react on a video that I saw on Soma Aku's channel. If you don't know Soma Aku is, she's a YouTuber also, and she does lots of reaction video where she just sit down and say things on her mind, the way she feels about things. So she, she has been talking about Suleiman of recent and um, I just thought to also trick my mouth in this matter because it's a matter of the kingdom. So um, Samahaku was saying things like she warned Suleiman. I mean, if you go to her channel, that is what is literary on her thumbnail. Samahaku said, Suleiman, why? Suleiman, I warned you. Thank you so much, Samahaku, for your bravery for your tenacity for all that and um when i saw that thumbnail i thought that okay it's the right time to talk about it so if you don't know apostle suleiman is apostle suleiman is the pastor yes he's an apostle in a church in nigeria the, the church is located in auchi yes and i am from Edo state auchi Esako. so the matter consigned me daily daily so apostle suleiman have been on the news not for a while and not for good reasons he has been on the news for sexual related matters sometimes ago five years or there about ago a lady came out a lady called steph no tobo she came out to speak about how apostle Suleiman impregnated her slept with her and so many escaped there was another lady that came out sometimes ago she's a nollywood actress nigerian actress she came out she spoke about it um, so many people have been talking about Apostle, Apostle, Apostle and I've been wondering, Apostle Suleiman is not the only pastor, why is everybody pointing out towards him on the issue of sexual immorality I mean it is unheard of it's a big allegation that I think he should break the silence on he needs to come out and address such an allegation the most recent one going on that is very odd for the past two weeks that is really really evil now each time i watch it i will almost weep is um another content creator in the person of maureen badejo wow maureen badejo is also a content creator and i think she's based in england she has done, she has been doing a lot of expose consigning the men of god apostle suleiman in particular on this video yes so there is this lady that came there are so many that i cannot talk about you can go to Maureen Badejo's channel and see for yourself guys this is end time and everybody you need to know god for yourself you need to know god beyond what your pastor is saying when the room is dead when the room is naked when the light is off who are you you need to know god for yourself because so many people are living the christian route because of what they are seeing consigning the men of god so many so many people and this is really not nice so there's this lady she's a cameronian lady she's called uh, enaka Inyong. yes she confided in maureen badejo madam maureen badejo yes <laughs> she confided in maureen badejo and she told a story of her experience with apostle johnson suleiman she told her experience and it was so bitter to the extent that Maureen Badejo had to go to her, her Facebook channel and start digging out video. I saw that video on Maureen Badejo's channel. Make a shout out to you, Maureen Badejo. I saw that video where she was showing the Enaka story and I thought to go to Enaka's page myself to go and check. 
and when i got there i sat down i listened to the video of more than one hour and i'd be like oh my god is this true is this alleged could this be true if it is true it is so sad that this is happening in the kingdom and if it's a lie i feel that apostle justin suleiman should step up and tell us that it's a lie and don't forget why i said um somehow was saying she warned apostle you know when the issue of stephanie otopo came um somehow did a video to react to it it's just a matter of time there is nothing hidden under the sun if your hands are not pure and you are a man of god you can step down rather than leading people to hell rather than deceiving people because there are so many people that it is your life that they are reading you are the god they are, that they are seeing instead of them to pray to god they pray through you to god so when you miss it they miss it forgetting that the bible says, following jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith apostle Paul said, follow me as i follow christ christ should be our watchword not a man of god so this lady enaka she narrated how she met apostle johnson suleiman in france how apostle johnson saw her and liked her how do you know eventually they both got down to do something and what even really made me feel that what is happening here is this ordinary or is there something more to it that we don't know is it just a matter of i like girls or there is more to this matter there is more to this matter the lady said that she told Apostle that she had HIV. Even if you are a normal guy, if somebody tells you that they had HIV, you need to start running. As in running from the fact that you want to get into the other room with them. Okay, you can be present to, to care for them, to help them, to assist them, but not to want to sleep. This girl said she told him that she's HIV positive and it damned the consequences because the girl is blessed she carry front she carry back she has backyard and she said so many disgusting things that i cannot even mention on esther's chronicles tv no because that's not what, what what that's not what we represent that's not what we represent so she said eventually they got to the other room and then the long and short story is that they have been looking for a way to silence her Anybody that comes out to talk, they look for where to bribe them. If you go to Morning Body Just Channel, and why I, I started believing all these things, or it's, it's looking like it's true, is because Apostle Joseph Suleiman Stewards, there were some guys that were living with him in the house. They have recordings. They have, and this thing is not even limited to Nigeria. It's not limited to Cameroon. It's not limited to Africa. It's spanned as far as UK, Europe, everywhere. Kilo Day! What is it? Eh? Why are we nailing Jesus Christ the second time? Why? Nobody is perfect. We are all work in progress. But every time, people should not be pointing direction towards you, sir. It is really, really affecting us as Christians. And a lot of people that are not strong, that are looking at you as they are God, they are falling. Now, Enaka's story is everywhere. To the extent, Somahaku is using you as thumbnail. That she warned you. Oh my god she she said suleiman i want you touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm we are all anointed we are all men and women of god but if the lord has chosen you to represent a community to represent a body please lead us right stop leading people astray so this is my final decision or this is my own verdict this is my concern enough of the silence when people start calling people out they will be silent say i don't want to talk about it no let's break this silence culture in christianity because even if you're not talking you are still talking if you're not talking you are telling us that what they are saying is true that's what you are telling us that's what person like me will take you are telling me that what enaka is saying is true what my embodied is saying is true what summer aku is saying is true what everybody is saying concerning you is true because if it is not true why is it that instead of you addressing the issue to respond to the critics or to respond to the allegation you are interested in feeding some homeless people in Meduguri that have always been there and they are saying it's damage control sir is it really damage control my name is esther of the esther's chronicles tv i'm a youtuber based in zurich switzerland i'm from a state 
ASAP or precisely. Ouch, you know, we are we'll be family, so let's talk to ourselves as family. Please, sir, this is really, really not nice. If it's not true, please do a broadcast. Let your people know that it is not true. And if it is true, please, sir, repent. Because the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God repents so that people will not be looking at you that, oh, if he can be doing it, who am I not to do it? It, 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 it is heartbreaking. It should not be encouraged and it, it should not be acceptable. It is not, not in any way. Enough of the silence. Enough of, enough of the silence culture. There's no point keeping quiet and doing as if you're not hearing what they're saying. And all the Apostle Suleiman people that you always go to people's comment section, let people say what they want to say. Drop your own. If you want to drop your comments, drop your comments under this. Say what you want to say, but be civil about it. You don't have to insult people if they don't agree with your opinion. No. Anyway, that's what I see. And I said, I'm going to come out and talk about it. And my prayer goes to that lady at Enaka York. She's a lady. And she's going through a lot. She, she, she was saying how they, are, how, they, how they are disturbing us spiritually and all that. I mean, why? Why do people have to go through this? People that you are supposed to care for. And for many of those that are still hiding behind the pulpit, God will expose you. God will expose you. Because many people are seeing you as God and you are leading them astray. It is not right. When Samuel Posu came out to say that he accepted what he did, a lot of people were badging him. But this was what I was saying on my own conversation that I give it to him. I respect him for the mere fact that he can accept the fact that he did it. Because a lot of men of God, they would rather die than to come out to say that they did what they have done. A lot of them will rather silent and it's so sad that even their wives tend to know about it so this is my own take on it Apostle to johnson suleiman if you feel that what that girl is saying is not right do a broadcast and let's all of us just keep quiet on it but before then we'll keep talking so if you have watched this video to this place my name is esther of the esther schoolitis tv thank you so much for watching please drop your comment let me know what you think about it let me know what you think you've been keeping silent when allegations are raised against you, it's right. Even though the Bible says vengeance is of the Lord, but I feel that there are some there are, there are some allegations that need to be cleared. If not for any reason, for the mere fact that you have people following you, you have people that believe in your calling, those allegations should be cleared. So that's my thought. Thank you. Drop me your comments. Like the video. I'll see you in my next video. It's your girl Esther. Remember, let's make a shout out to you. Summer Aku. Make a shout out to you. Bad job, boring. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you all. Bye bye. <laughs>